Alrighty, everyone. So he is back running, you know, whatever. Only at 9 volts. Uh, I just fired him up again. Um, because I dug out the second earth ground and I just wanted to make a video here to show you in the manner that he is configured, I do have a potential, as you can see, on that second earth ground. Just hanging out here. And when I take a relative ground, you can see there's a potential difference between the relative and that ground. That means that this signal coming up here is below the earth potential negative. Okay? So, that just goes to show you that um, between here and here, I'm going to have potential. Probably a lot of potential. I did not do an arcing there or anything like that. I don't know if I even want to. You can, just getting them closer to that, you can see the bulbs are getting brighter. So, um, let me see. I don't want to get a zap because, uh, you know, I could get a zap. I think I'll just uh, conclude the video here with we have a potential on this earth ground wire, okay, that is going to go into a rectifier from here across there. So this is double rectified. Okay, so th it makes it like the earth is the midpoint. The earth, so I could probably put a bridge across there and here and have some sort of potential, but I will have much higher potential here. That's what I expect anyways. So we will see what will be. But if that is the case, that say if it's putting out 4 kV now and I'm putting out 8 kV across here, then that's superb. This will be recharged with full wave, you know, and this will be output with earth potential on top of earth potential full wave and then that will go to domper mm -hmm. and because uh, our midpoint of the earth is a high side here that will make the entrance to the second transformer the midpoint also an accelerated voltage will be present there right here right so it's going to get really crazy but that will be used to charge the large caps for whatever way you want to go if you want to do that method this here we are just focusing on the input circuit uh, uh this can be applied could be any damn coil or transformer i want this input circuit be perfect so and then whatever we want to do for the rest of the part of the device with all the other over unity options we have at our disposal to make use of then we will incorporate them but uh, this part of the device it makes basically any <laughs> anything run off the zvs over unity it depending on your tuning and whatnot but I, it is a very good circuit so next i will put this cap in and the bridge first we will do the bridge experiment and find that out <clears throat> then i will put the cap in here onto there and uh, I don't know if I will put diode somewhere in there. Maybe as well I will put um, breaker probably on the bottom of the next board. And he will be wired into here into that so that we can turn him off and on. And uh, because when we go to plug this battery on, will be massive inrush current with that capacitor there. So I will make battery connection so I don't burn out the Andersons. Then I will turn him on. And then he will come in, fill that cap and all the rest of the shit and then we can turn the machine on here that breaker can also serve as a as another um closed looping type situation where you turn the source off once the next level here recharge capacitor is full you can flip the switch back to the cap and then turn the source off as long as he is scaled properly so it doesn't fucking run away because if it runs away, it'll blow that cap up. You don't want that. So he has to be putting back in circulation no more than he needs. We don't want too much excess. If we're going to have excess, which we probably will with the full wave, then we best use LTO block. They're still printing. Okay. Have a great day.